And we are so thrilled to have Fenway at full capacity on opening day for the first time since 2019. We also celebrate the anniversary of Jackie Robinson breaking the color barrier. Today, everyone wears his number 42 in unified tribute to Jackie's legacy both on and off the field. Had a nice year last year, a little bit of a breakout for, for him last year. Buxton facing Pavetta, Twins and Red Sox on a spectacular day, righty to righty. And a high pop-up headed towards Bogarts. And now they let it drop, and Buxton will go to second base with a pop fly double. And Buxton now is hurt at second base. And coming off the field. An awkward slide and Byron's meeting the trainer halfway and slammed his fist in the dirt. Alarmingly came off the field right away like he knew they would not be able to continue. Runner at second base it's Gordon but they've lost Byron Buxton at least for the day and now here is Luis Arise. And the pitch is swinging a line drive into left center field slicing fading and down for a base hit. It gets by Verdugo now bobbled by Hernandez in center. Gordon scores standing RBI single Luis Arise and the Twins take a one nothing lead. Correa hitting third. He is one for three against Nick in his career. A little chopper here. Bogarts to Story on to Dahlbeck. Low throw. Another nice dig there by Bobby. Oh, break a ball here. 3 2. Runner goes. And a liner in the shift. And a diving play by Story. Joe Ryan. Big day for him. There's going to be a lot of firsts this year. The jitters or whatever. In the first inning, Ryan just wasn't as sharp as we had seen him. And on three pitches, he takes care of Hernandez one away. Let's throw the slider and the change. And Ryan will field the hop, has plenty of time, flipping to Sano. Devers retired two away. Now, Sano last year saw Pavetta and hit the longest home run of his career here at Fenway Park against this guy a year ago. A high fly to left field. Verdugo looks up, and that is gone. Sano's first hit clears the monster in left. Good swing by Miguel Sano, and he didn't even get it all. And that one just cleared that 37 foot high green barrier landing in the front row of the monster seats as the Twins have taken this sold out crowd out of it early on today. It changed my whole <laughs> my whole outlook or opinion about his approach at the plate. He's gotten stronger and more, has more power. Deep to the right field corner near Pesky's pole. It's a fair ball. Gordon flying around second. He'll score easily. Arise rounding second on his no. He'll slam on the brakes and hold up with an RBI double. He'll arise hitting one right down the right field line. The ball did not bounce over the short wall near the pole. Stayed in the ballpark and that allowed Gordon to score from first base. Ryan was traded from Tampa Bay to Minnesota last summer while he was competing in the Olympics in Tokyo. Cut out a miss strike three. He's already collected three punch outs out of four batters. One away for Alex Verdugo. Batting right at 300 with a home run. With Trevor Story about to get his first Fenway Park at bat. It's a high fly ball. That's deep. That's way back there and she is gone. Verdugo touches them all. Boy, did, did he ever touch it off. Hit a home run in Yankee Stadium. In that series, two home runs already, and this one was crushed. He had no problem seeing that fastball. Did not. It's the fifth career game for Story here at Fenway Park. And now a breaking ball puts him away. Dropping down to a knee. This guy's punching guys out just to stay in shape with that slider. So I'm going to get something out of this. Yeah, that's a big at bat here. Roller toward the hole and through for a base hit. Two runs will score. Sanchez rolling one just beyond Bogart's reach. And the Twins take a 6 1 lead. Not a pick of his fourth RBI. Hot shot and it gets through the third baseman to rise down into the corner. Jackie coming around, he will score. Kike to second base, that was a hot smash, and it's a 6-2 to two game. You can't throw it hard enough for Kike, you just cannot. Xander Bogart's on deck, one out, a run in. High fly ball down the line, down near the pole, and leaping, and that ball is out of here, it's a home run! Raphael Devers, he golfs it in the corner. 
And don't look now, but the Red Sox are back in the ball game. Big chance for the Twins to give themselves a little breathing room for the bottom of this inning. And a good spot for it. Kepler with a ground ball and a run will score. Correa flying in around third base and a big hit for Max Kepler on the first pitch. Really big hit. Huge run. Answer right back after the Red Sox have scored three. Only one out in the inning. See what he can get done on 0 2. Little dribbler, that'll work. Larnick retired. The run scores, and maybe the toughest play that Dahlbeck has ever had. Barnes throwing the ball right into the sun to get Larnick at first base. And the guy they trust in the late innings in Pagan. Pretty good outing for Pagan. Not a save, but he closed down an 8 4 win.